Hey, Hayden, how about that weather we've been having? Well, we finally got a couple snow days. We've been waiting for quite some time. But it's March already, so let's make another edition of Your, Your Nightly, Nightly News. News. Welcome to the third edition of Nightly News. We've got stories for you on the blood drive and the new and old teachers. But first, DAR awards. Congratulations to Mr. Hypes for his History Teacher Excellence Award from the Daughters of the American Revolution. Grant was the Fieldcrest DAR Good Citizen Award winner. Congrats to the Academic Challenge members on their success. Michael and Logan for first and third in computer science and Grace for first in English. Great job and good luck at this sectional competition. Key Club did their annual blood drive for the Red Cross. Let's see how it went. It's getting cold out here at Fieldcrest. And that means the first Key Club blood drive. Let's go check with Kelsey and see how it's going. How many years has Fieldcrest had the blood drive? We have had the blood drive for four years. What is the blood drive for? The blood drive is for the Red Cross. Um, they, if we get up to 100 pints, the Red Cross will give Fieldcrest Key Club a scholarship and the blood we donate goes to the people in need. What role do you play in the blood drive? I am the head chairperson of the blood drive. Um, I organize the blood drive, I schedule the appointments, and during the blood drive I help check people in. All right, thanks. You're welcome. What is your role in the blood drive? Um, I'm the sponsor of Key Club, so mostly what I do is just facilitate so the students can organize it and set up the blood drive in the lobby. And uh, what are the regulations to give blood? You have to be at least 16 years old, and if you're 16, then you have to have parental permission, so you have to have a sign slip from your parent. And then anyone who's 17 or older can give blood, as long as it's been six weeks since the last time you gave blood, and you haven't had a tattoo within a year. So what is your goal for this year's blood drive? Um, we're hoping that we get 100 pints of blood total. We're going to do two blood drives, one now, and then the second one will be in April. And if we can get up to 100 pints of blood, then we can possibly get a $1,000 scholarship, which we'll offer to um, a couple of people who apply for it. Yeah, thank you for your time. Thanks to everyone who donated. Now back to you. For the Night News, I'm Kyron. Thanks to everybody who donated, and there's uh, another one coming up in April if you missed it. Let's take a look at the new staff members this year. It's a new year here at Fieldcrest High School. We have new technology, new students, and the, the next story that we're going to have is new teachers. Where did you go to college? St. Ambrose University, home of the Fighting Bees. How did it prepare you for teaching? It was a great education, good four-year experience. Did yeah. you like it there? Yeah, it was great. What classes are you teaching here currently? I teach keyboarding, yearbook, uh, yes, yearbook, um, business, technology, and concepts, accounting, and that is it. What did you major in? I was a double major. I got a business degree and an education degree. How's your year going so far? Great. Faculty's great, students are great, food's great. It's just a great school to be at. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. So where did you go to college? Illinois State. And how did that prepare you for teaching? Well, uh, I took a lot of classes on education. I student taught for a year, and I also did a lot of inner city Chicago work preparation too. It was great. Good answer. <laughs> so how's your year going so far? I love it. I love the environment here. I think it's, it's fun, and uh, I hope that the kids are learning something. So what classes are you teaching? Uh, right now, mostly English 3. I'm also teaching English 1 and Spanish 1. Thank you. Where did you go to college? I went to ISU. How did it prepare you for teaching? Um, I just learned different techniques and strategies and got some practice dealing with high schoolers and how they act. What classes are you currently teaching? I'm teaching English 2, sophomores, and then I have AP Literature, which is my honors juniors. How's the year going so far? 
Great, I'm really liking my classes and my students and getting to know all of them and having a great year so far. All right, thanks. Thank you. So where did you go to college? Illinois State. How did that prepare you for teaching? They have a great program. Uh, you do a lot of early ob observations and then uh, your last experience is a full semester at a high school, which I did at Pekin. And uh, how many years have you been teaching here? 27. That's a long time. Yes, it is. So, uh, Not as long as was Oric. Okay. So it's really old. <laughs> so what classes are you teaching? Uh, this year I'm teaching U.S. History, AP History, uh, Economics, Sociology, and uh, Survey of Social Sciences, and Geography. And how's your year going so far? Great. It's wonderful. Great kids like you. Oh, thank you very much. That's sweet. At this time, Mr. Bradenkamp has declined to be interviewed. Not now, guys. Not right now. This is Kyron signing off for the Night News. Stay gold and feel crest. Oh, yes, we forgot our veterans, but we know everything about them and then some. Well, it looks like we've flown through another edition of your nightly news. Stay classy, feel crest. Keep being awesome. And we'll see you in another episode of your, your nightly, nightly news. news. Your nightly news. Your nightly news. Your nightly news. Come on, T Stu. Alright, one more time. Your, Your nightly, nightly news. news. God, you didn't point. <laughs> <laughs>